Anyone who knows a teenager or has their own can tell you that when it comes to taking photos, they're not always the most cooperative. As you can see in this picture that I have open, which is image 6770, if you want to open it on your own, you can see that my son was less than thrilled to have his picture taken. And that's where the elements editor comes into play. With the latest version, we now have the ability to tweak facial features for those people who just don't want their picture taken. Let me show you how this works. Now with this image open, I'm gonna to go to the enhance menu and I'm gonna choose the option adjust facial features. Now when this command is invoked, you're gonna notice that it's gonna do somewhat of a facial recognition and it's gonna detect each face in the image. So you can click on each one of these to make them active. So I can adjust each one independently if I want. Now I'll just zoom in a little bit to make this a little bit easier to see. Now, you have a variety of choices here. You have the lips category, you have the eyes category, the nose category, and the overall face category. So, you have a lot of things you can do here. I mean, you can adjust the chin height, as you can see here, as I make this adjustment, his chin is being changed. You can adjust the overall shape of the jawbone. You can adjust the forehead height, and I'm not gonna show you every option here. I just wanna show you some of the things that we can do. Now I'm gonna click the reset button to kind of reset this back to the original. And I just wanted to share this photo with some friends and family, but he was not in the mood to smile on this day. So I'm gonna to go to the lips category, and you can see that we can adjust all the different elements of the smile individually. I mean, we can change his upper lip, you can see I'm adjusting that lip. You can change the lower lip. You can change the overall width of the mouth here, as well as the height, and then the overall smile. So with this feature, I will tell you less is more. You can really make somebody look like the Joker very quickly. So I'm gonna come down here and reset this image once again. And all I'm gonna do is drag the smile slider to the right just a little bit. and. This is at least getting him to crack a little bit of a smile. You know, again, if I go all the way to the right, that really looks unnatural. But if I just pull it over to the right a little bit, it at least looks like he's having somewhat of a good time on this morning on the first day of school. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. I'll go ahead and click the before so you can see where he was. And then after, and we have a little bit of a smile, still looks natural. And then I'll go ahead and click OK. And you can see that the elements editor has made that adjustment to that image. So if we want to, we can save this image. I'll probably just save it in the same version set. And I'll go ahead and click save, maximize the quality here and click OK. So even if your subject doesn't want to smile for the camera or you just want to make someone look their best, use the adjust facial features command in the elements editor to get the job done.